Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new to the channel, my name's Joe. I'm a sophomore studying biochemistry uh, on a pre-med track. This video is going to be all about uh, my process of visiting, applying, uh, and eventually choosing the college that I am attending now. So I applied to, in total, uh, I think it was 11 schools. It was uh, Gettysburg, Muhlenberg, Juniata, Ursinus, Lafayette, Dickinson, Washington and Jefferson, Grove City, EMU, and Johns Hopkins. Um, out of those 11 schools, I applied to seven different schools, uh, being Gettysburg, Dickinson, Muhlenberg, Junietta, Persinus, and Washington Jefferson. Of those seven schools, I was accepted to every school that I applied to. Now that was nice to be accepted um, everywhere that I did apply, but it also made things a little more tricky uh, because now I had to pick from seven schools rather than two or four schools, making my decision much more difficult. Next I'm going to get into uh, what my application looked like personally. I'll talk about my GPA, uh, my test scores, uh, extracurriculars. Yeah, I know words, I have the best words extracurriculars, interviews, uh, and essays. So for my extracurriculars, I played on the varsity soccer and volleyball teams. Uh, I was a member of student council, uh, and I was also a member of student advancement committee, which is basically a group of students who serve as tour guides for the high school I went to. Outside of high school, um, I was a volunteer at my local hospital for one winter. Uh, and then for my junior and senior year, I was a Special Olympics ski coach in Lancaster County. Now for my essay, uh, to put this simply, it was probably the weakest part of my application. I didn't think my essay was anything really special. Uh, I don't think it really showed a whole lot. Uh, it was just kind of an essay. For my letters of recommendation, I got two. I got one letter of my recommendation uh, from my AP Chemistry teacher. Uh, and I got the other from my AP US history teacher. Uh, and I think it's important to get one letter of recommendation from someone who kind of like in your field, so my chemistry teacher, uh, because obviously I'm a biochemistry major. Um, but I think it also is good to get a letter of recommendation uh, from a teacher or someone who's kind of outside of your field of interest uh, because it shows that you have a strong proficiency uh, in other areas outside of your main field of interest. I think I personally did pretty well in all of my interviews. I felt very comfortable. I didn't feel nervous uh, any of them. And honestly, the best thing to do is just be yourself um, and give honest answers to the questions that they have for you. Uh, something that I would recommend is bringing a prepared resume. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything too special, just kind of a list of all your extracurriculars, any volunteer hours. Uh, basically everything you're involved in uh, and then also your GPA and any test scores that you have um, on, Most of the time they'll have this information already um, But I think that it shows that you're prepared uh, Also, make sure you dress up a little bit um, For me, I wore khakis and then a nice button-down shirt I don't think you could wear a tie if you want uh, But you definitely don't need like a, a sport coat or a jacket or anything like that Now to get into my uh, stats for my application uh, my GPA, uh, my, so my unweighted GPA, uh, I had a 4.0 in high school, uh, and then my weighted GPA I think was like a 4.26 or 4.27, uh, something along the lines of that. I took 8 AP courses uh, in high school and took a couple of those tests, uh, I don't remember exactly which ones I took, um, and then I think I ranked in the top 5% of my graduating class, uh, which was a class of about 160, 170 students. I think your course rigor is equally or maybe even more important than your actual GPA uh, because it shows that you can handle a challenging course load. If you take all the easiest classes and get a 4.0, it doesn't really show anything for you. But if you take five EP classes uh, and get like a 3.85 as your un unweighted GPA, then that shows that you can challenge yourself and you can still do well. Uh, it's perfectly okay to get a couple Bs uh, here and there. And I think that colleges really just like to see that you will rise to the challenge that you're not just going to take the easy way out so you that you can get a 4.0 by taking all the easiest classes. My SAT score, uh, I scored a combined of a 1330, 
uh, on, I think I got like a 720 on the math, uh, and then a 610 on the reading writing section. And I think your SAT score uh, is important because it gives colleges a way to measure everyone on a standard scale because high school classes differ, high school grading scales differ, but everyone takes the same SAT. So it gives colleges uh, a good way to standardize everything. Uh, I think I could have prepared more for the SAT. Uh, I only took like one or two practice tests. Um, and I think that kind of held me back a little bit. I think my GPA definitely showed uh, how I can perform academically better, uh, but none of that really matters now because I'm already in college. I'm officially a college student! So, now that I've talked you through uh, my application process and how I got in, accepted to all the schools that I applied to, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how uh, I would do it differently if I had to do it again. Uh, so first of all, I think I would have put a little bit more time and thought uh, into my essay. Uh, secondly, I think I would have like to prepare more uh, for the SAT. I think the best way to prepare is probably just take uh, more practice tests. There's not really a way you can study. Lastly, I would recommend uh, finding something to really make your application unique, something to really make it pop. Um, I think that's really what sets the top students apart from the middle tier students. Uh, but yeah, besides those things, uh, I was happy with how my application process went. No regrets. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. If you want to see more videos uh, about college, uh, EMS, and my journey into medicine, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and thanks again for watching, guys.